Hi. My name is Mike Moran, and this is my journey. We'll start in high school. I was an athlete, a three-sport athlete to be exact. I played football, basketball, and I ran track. I loved sports. And if you asked me what I identified most with, at the time, I would have told you it was with being an athlete. I was always on the skinnier side growing up, but I finally started to gain some weight at the end of my sophomore year and going into my junior year of high school. I was a very athletic kid, and I had dreams of playing college basketball. In my junior year, I ended up playing on the varsity basketball team in our playoffs, where I ended up having one of the best games of my life. A couple months later, after our season ended, I found out that I was going to be the captain of the varsity basketball team my senior year. At the time, this was the best news I'd ever received in my entire life. So there I was, the up and coming captain of the varsity basketball team. 17 years old, six foot two, 170 pounds. Life was good and I was feeling great. But then three days later, my life changed forever. On June 10th of 2017, I fell off a third story balcony and landed on my feet on the ground below. I broke both my heel bones and tore my left Achilles tendon. I had a ton of adrenaline running through me, but the pain I felt is indescribable. I remember being rushed into the hospital, unable to lift my legs and feel my feet. I was told I would have significant mobility loss and have extreme difficulty running, squatting, and doing things like walking on sand at the beach. I'd wake up every morning, look down at my feet, and begin to cry. And due to muscle atrophy in my legs and not eating enough food, I went from 170 pounds to below 140 within a few weeks. I spent an entire month in three different hospitals before I finally had two surgeries to fix my broken heel bones. I had a plate and screws put into each heel and began the eight week recovery before I could finally start to walk again. I spent my days at home, either sleeping, watching Netflix, or playing Fortnite. And granted, one of the good things that came out of this was that I became pretty sick at Fortnite. I actually ended up becoming a pro for a little bit of time before I ended up going off to college. I didn't want to go outside. I didn't want to be seen by the public. I didn't want to accept that this was my reality and that this was the new life that I was living. After spending three months in a wheelchair, and then moving on to a knee scooter, and then crutches. Finally, the month of October came around, and I took my first steps. This was one of the biggest achievements of my entire life, and was also a major step into me finally starting to feel like myself again. So from the month of October all the way through March, I was going to physical therapy three times a week for two hours at a time. I started off doing really basic exercises, such as wiggling my toes, or trying to move my ankle into the different letters of the alphabet. But as time went on and I continued to progress, I began doing lots of exercises to help me regain my balance and stability as well as improve my overall strength. While this was all going on, back at school, my basketball team ended up having an amazing season 
where we ended up winning the state sectional championship. Although I wasn't out on the court physically, that season is one that I will never forget and I'm super grateful for having experienced. In the month of March, I also ended up getting my first gym membership and began working out quite frequently, and I even gained back some of the muscle and strength that I had lost as a result of all of this. So even with all this great progress I was making, my right foot still didn't feel right and was not improving at the expected rate. I ended up getting an MRI in the foot to see if any issues could be found, and unfortunately, a very serious issue was. Doctors discovered that I had a dislocated posterior tibial tendon, which runs down the inside of your ankle and into your foot. After hearing this news, I was also informed that I'd need yet another surgery in order to fix the dislocated tendon. This was really devastating news for me, as I had made so much progress already, but would now have to continue this recovery for an even longer period of time than was originally expected. So on May 24th of 2018, I had my third and final surgery. You taught me the courage of stars before you left. How light carries on endlessly, even after death, with shortness of breath, you explain the infinite, how After another long summer, filled with doctor's appointments and physical therapy, I finally went off to college. For those wondering, I go to Quinnipiac University and am studying physical therapy. So soon enough, I'll be helping people out who have gone through similar things, such as myself. My first day at school was actually the first day I was allowed to walk without a boot on. So I really was just kind of thrown into a totally new environment with a whole bunch of new faces on my very first day of walking unassisted. I was once again really skinny and out of shape, and overall just didn't feel great about myself or my body. Going to college, however, was great for me, as it felt like I had a clean slate to start from, and I could forget about the past and who I once was, as no one else knew any of that besides me. I had a new mindset that I was not going to let this injury define who I am, so I began working out five times a week and eating much more food, and overall much healthier food and it didn't take long for me to see results and fall in love with fitness and working out. So now, after almost two years of working out and watching my nutrition, I present to you my fitness transformation and progress to this day.
I have learned from all of this that no matter how poor your situation in life is, how you respond is what truly proves what kind of a person you are. Today, I am back doing many of the things I love, such as playing organized basketball and lifting weights. But even with all this progress I have made, I still do struggle daily because of this injury, and I do have arthritis in both of my ankles and heels. All of this struggle really served as a wake-up call for me, that our lives can change in an instant, and it showed me that the magic of life happens outside of our comfort zones. I have gotten out of my comfort zone by applying for many different campus jobs as well as holding different leadership positions at my college, which all have helped me grow as an individual in some way. I even won the award for the most outstanding sophomore this past year, and I know it's all because I didn't shy away from challenges and I got out of my comfort zone as much as possible. So I end this video by telling you that every single day you get out of bed, it is your duty to use that day for good and to make the most out of it. What you do today is important because you are exchanging a day of your life for it. It's been a long, long time Since I've seen sunlight through the rain Since I felt love for truth, it's strange But I left place back where I came And I won't lie It's taken so long to feel okay And now the world is screaming out for more But I don't feel the same We'll be alright Cause it's all we